your 4th of July. Hope you all have a wonderful holiday and stay safe. If you're headed towards the beaches like these guys, make sure that you're also applying, reapplying that SPF and that you're staying hydrated. And also don't drink and dry. There are no excuses or plenty of ride sharing services that will be out and about today. All right, taking a look at our PB Skycam, we have a lot of people paddling out. Leave it to the professionals over the next few days because we are in a beach hazard statement and I'll go over into those details in just a moment. Taking a look at your 24 hour temperature change 24 hours ago, we were a a little cool or we were a little uh, cooler right now we're a little warmer by a couple of degrees for the inland valleys we're pushing about three degrees warmer for Ramona Julian as well as Alpine and we're about two degrees warmer in Chula Vista as well as Hamul. take advantage of these comfortable conditions right now maybe that means finishing some of those outdoor chores before you host something later on this afternoon because temperatures are going to be comfortable for the next couple of hours and then they'll soar we're looking at really hot conditions all across the county for the next several days when it comes to the noon hours the reason for that, we have this area of high pressure. So this do dome of really warm air is going to push into uh, California, centering itself over Northern California, and it's going to bake most of the state. It's prolonged because it's not really going anywhere. There's not going to be a lot of movement with this system over the next several days into next week. In fact, as I fast forward this to Monday night, it's still sitting parked over Northern California. Fast forward it to about Wednesday and Thursday, and it's still pushing in to parts of Northern California, but then it moves a little more eastward. But again, that we're going to continue to see that really, really warm air trickle in across the state and we could potentially break some records, especially when it comes to neighborhoods like uh, Ramona and Borrego Springs. That's where we'll likely break some daytime high records uh, for your Friday. If you're headed out tonight to watch the fireworks show, be safe. It looks like it'll be mostly clear, so perfect conditions to enjoy the show. We'll be in the mid to upper 60s across the coast and 70s for the inland and mountain areas. So perfect view on tap for the coastal areas will be in the mid top or 70s taking a look at the hour by hour forecast in case you're headed towards the beaches we will stay in the 60s all the way through about nine o'clock and then we'll be in the low 70s by 11 the heat peaks right around 1 5 p.m. so that's when it's looking like it'll be the warmest of the day and then taking a look to tomorrow daytime highs will climb a couple of degrees we will be closer to that 80 degree mark and a high surf advisory goes into place at nine o'clock lasting all the way through through Saturday night the inland areas will be in the mid to upper 80s and we climb to the low 90s. The heat peaks Friday and Saturday for our most populated neighborhoods and then we'll see daytime highs shave off a few degrees by the latter part of the weekend. Everyone with the exception of the coast will be under an excessive heat warning beginning tomorrow at uh, about 11 a.m. lasting all the way through Saturday night. So this is a serious heat wave that we're talking about impacting most of the county for the start of the weekend. Desert highs near 115 today close to 120, 125 by Friday. Moses. New developments this morning, Sean Diddy Combs is facing yet another lawsuit. This one filed by a former porn star who claims the music mogul groomed her and used her as a sexual pawn. Adri English says she met Combs in 2004 while performing at a New York strip club. She claims he offered her boyfriend a job if she danced at Diddy's parties. At those events, English says she was coerced into using alcohol and drugs before being sexually assaulted by various guests. This is the ninth lawsuit against Combs home since November and the eighth directly accusing him of sexual assault. Mounting lawsuits against Sean Combs just creates more and more civil liability, more money that he might have to pay out if he loses. This latest lawsuit comes as TMZ reports Diddy is selling his Los Angeles mansion raided by the FBI earlier this year. Coming up, we will have one last check of what you need to know before you head out the door this morning. Skycam Views, sponsored by Carlsbad Solar. Welcome back. I'm Moses Small, and for Jared and Melissa, it's time to get you caught up on today's top stories. America's on the move to celebrate Independence Day. AAA says a record 71 million of us are traveling for the holiday. The vast majority are hitting the roads, while around 6 million are flying, and another 4.5 million are taking trains, buses, or boats. In Coronado, the Crown City Classic run is about to begin. One of several 4th of July events planned at the island. The Independence Day Parade is celebrating 75 years. That begins at 10 this morning, but families have already started saving their spots. San Diegans are also getting ready for the Big Bay Boom. 
That is the biggest fireworks show in California. You'll be able to see the 1,000 fireworks show pretty much anywhere along the bay, including the Embarcadero and Shelter Island that begins at 9 p.m. And a reminder to be fire safe as you celebrate the 4th. Last year, Cal Fire says they responded to five fireworks related fire calls on the 4th of July. And this year, with the conditions, they worry that it could be worse. They're asking you to leave the fireworks to the professionals. And by the way, fireworks are also illegal in San Diego County. You could be fined up to $50,000. And here's your 4th of July forecast. Let's go ahead and start things off with a live look from Peyo's Coronado. It is already packed across the park right in front of the ferry landing with a lot of canopies. Uh, people likely securing their spot for the fireworks show. Get those chores done while it's cool out. Maybe it's walking the dog or going for that jog outside. Temperatures right now are in the 60s, but I assure you it's going to be a really hot one today. We'll be in the mid to upper 70s. Clouds will clear by noon. Close to 90 degrees for most of our inland areas. We'll be seeing those daytime highs a few degrees warmer than yesterday. Quick warming for the mountains in the mid 90s and excessive dangerous heat will continue for our deserts. Daytime highs will be near 115 this weekend. California is going to bake nearly the entire state will be under an excessive heat warning for us here in San Diego County. The deserts are under that excessive heat warning and then by tomorrow everyone with the exception of the coast will be under an excessive heat warning. Inland areas will be pushing close to 110 when the heat peaks on Friday and Saturday. Mountain areas will top out near 105 and the deserts when the heat peaks this weekend will be close to 125. Borrego Springs could likely break some records as well as Ramona. We also have hazardous swimming conditions. If you're inexperienced, leave it to the surfers. We're expecting three to five foot waves with isolated sets up to seven feet and very strong rip currents.